Hey everyone, John here, uh, back with another Gaming with Class Plays. This is the one that I have actually been looking forward to a while, I've been trying to plan out a time to actually play this, but now's the time, and I'm very excited. So, on and off for a while now, I've been playing the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizer, which, if you don't know what it is, it's a m hack of the game where all the items are randomized, so... Everything from the bow and arrow to the sword to everything is randomized. I could get the master sword in Kikiri in like Lost Woods. I could get the hammer in Lake Hylia. Like, it, who knows? So I've got it up here. Um, what I'm adding to this randomize this time. So the state is open. That means that it's just going to be open already. It skips the introduction, so I don't have to go. Save Zelda in the beginning, I can come back to that. Uh, the sword is randomized, so... The uncle will not give the sword, he can give a whole other item in the game. A uh, difficulty normal, uh, logic, no glitches, because I'm not the best at Link to the Past in terms of glitches. I know a few, but not enough that could warrant me doing, like, major stuff. The goal is to defeat Ganon, and I have a variation on, which is retro. And what, what this one is, that kind of has... Zelda 1 characteristics in terms of just... Uh, how arrows work, how uh, certain things are in terms of locations. Like, I think it said in the seed, like in the instructions, that at some point, one of the caves and like one of the five, like, single room caves in the game is gonna lead me to an area where I can either pick a heart container and one will actually lead to an old man who will give me a sword. So it's. Who, who knows? I really don't know what to expect from this seed, but I am. I I'm excited. That that's all I can say. So let's let's get a name in there. Uh, let's let's keep it classy. GWC. And as you can see, I have the pink link, and I'm using the green hearts. So let's see. All right, let's start from my house. So here we go. Th this first chest here is gonna set the tone of the rest of this run. So let's see what it is. Perfect. So actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head to uh, where your uncle's at in the game. I want to see what item he has. And there's another chest in there. Now, now, depending on like what weapon I have, depends on how far I can get in Hyrule Castle. I, I'm at the least, the very least, going to need a weapon. Okay, let me just get away. So there's a lot of different facets of the randomizer that I could really change. Like, I could change this to where all the entrances in the game are randomized, which is crazy. Oh, great. But yeah, you could change everything in it. Like, I, I really love this thing. I've, I've sunk a lot of hours into the randomizers just because they're fun. I was also playing the uh, the Ocarina of Time one, which is very recent. It's a very recent one, and that one's also pretty fun. It's very glitchy it now, and it crashes a lot, but that one's a bit crazier, because I know a lot about Ocarina of Time, but I don't know, remember every single thing from it. There's a lot of chests in that game that are very hidden, so it's, it, it's a lot for that one. This one, at least, I've played Link to the Past so much, I know mostly everything about like I know where most of the items are where most of the smaller chests are at so this one's a bit easier I think this one warrants more in terms of what you can do because Ocarina of Time you're kind of limited in certain ways this one you're not really so it, it's been pretty fun especially uh watching the speed runs of this this is a really cool game to see races of and it's been very very popular on Twitch like, I think still ongoing is, like, the tournament they're doing for it, and it's been a pretty fun watch, because because each seed is different, you never know what to expect. So we could start off with, like, a really bad seed where they're getting bad items, and then all the way at the end just start getting really good. Like, oh, now they got this item. And really, to me, the, the, the best part about the randomizer itself is it's always just a feeling of, like, being stuck for a long time. 
and finding that one item that changes everything. Like, all it takes is one item and it, like, opens up a thousand different locations. Okay, five bombs, so nothing useful right now. Can I... Yeah, there's nothing I can... Actually, there is something I can do over here. I'm gonna have to do one of the only glitches I can actually probably do. Is I'm gonna be trying the fake flippers glitch. Because I can't get the area of the ice rod because I don't have the... Okay. I forgot. I think it's... It's like you have to... It's kind of tough to pull off. It might take me a few tries. Got it. That was fast. Yeah, this is the, the fake flippers glitch. This lets you, uh... You pretty much, like, mistake the game into thinking that you have the flippers. By doing that, uh, area transition. And the only reason I want the fake flippers is because there's an item underneath the bridge that I need to get to. And because I do not know when I will ever get the flippers in this in this run, because it could take a long time. It could be the end of the game, like... Because of everything's randomized, theoretically I could probably get the flippers in, like, Ganon's tower at the end of the game. And it would be completely worthless, so... Let's see. Please do something good. Okay, that that's pretty good. That opens up something at least. It's nothing useful at the moment, but having at least one of one of those is gonna help. So now it's time to go to treasure chest like cove. Kakariko is just usually this is the first place you want to go in these things because you will find an insane amount of chests and. usually where I, I like like to go first for this. Alright. So actually, real quick, I'll make a quick detour at Lost Woods. There's uh, two things I can get over here for now. I need to get something else, because I really don't like having the medallion. I'd rather have, like, a boomerang. That's, that's at least a little more useful. Until I get the sword, things are going to be a bit weird. Like, I could have made this this seed way easier by having it so uh, the uncle is assured sword. But I wanted to make this a little more interesting, just because I haven't really done this. And wow, it's one of the, the rare times where the thing that's in the area is actually in the area. Because like the base game, it's a heart piece there. So, nothing much changed. I'd be surprised if the, if the uh, mushroom's here. Like, I'm gonna guess right now, because I can't see it. It's either gonna be 20 rupees, or it's gonna be a bomb upgrade. Hey, look at that. 20 rupees. Exactly what I said. Which I think, I think actually, uh, the red ones are only 10 or so, but... Oh yeah, Master Sword is also an item too, so I need to also make it a mission to get this. So let me see what I got. So I'm about to hit Dark World at some point, because I can only get get that one pendant here. Actually, I wonder... Let's see. I guess. I need to also watch some of these caves, because I don't... Just in case, uh, because this is retro, they did say there's, like, like, I should actually pull that up right now. I'm, I'm going to pull it up real quick on my end so I can get a better idea. So, just so, just like, so I can have the, the rules of it so that I'm not confused again, because I saw it a second ago. So, here, I got it. I have it up right now, so let me, so let me switch over to the other feed again. So, Retro. A callback to the first entry in the Legend of Zelda series, Retro Mode links us even closer to the past. 
So like I said, the Rupee Bow Overworld Shops. Five shops out of a possible nine will be randomly chosen when the rob is generated to have new stock. Small keys are no longer dungeon specific, so that's the one that's going to be weird. Is small keys are going to be pretty important in this one. I have to really watch how I use small keys and which like dungeons I decide to use. And then the take any caves, a uh, four random caves. Do not have an item locationality to take any caves. Give it a choice between a heart container, blue potion. One random single cave will contain a mysterious yet familiar old man with a sword. The sword upgrade takes place in one of the item pools. So, that's the general idea of retro. So those small keys are going to be the ones that are going to be... Uh, interesting in the end because it's like huh what am I uh like which dungeon do I tackle at that point I, the dark world dungeons have a lot of keys so I might have to save them the, the good thing is that well that's the first time I think I've ever failed that one yeah but the, the good thing is that it says that you can buy a small key for a hundred rupees and I'm gonna be getting a lot of money in this just just due to the fact that I'm gonna be getting a lot of chests with rupees, so I should probably be fine in that front. Okay, there's the uh, sanctuary heart piece. Small key, okay. And small key. Alright. I wish I had some bombs. I still have uh, three other chests I can open up, like right in here. So. And I can also get whatever this guy is selling too, so let's see. Nice. Okay. Much better. I I feel much better with the boomerang than just that. Okay. Heart's getting up at least. I can save it. Okay, that's very important. That's good. That's really good too. <laughs> that's also good. Okay, I I'm happy with these these right now. Because I don't have a sword, having at least some type of resistance will help, and the Moon Pearl is especially going to be uh, a good thing to have. Because the second I get to Dark World, that's when I can start getting way more items. Like, the hammer is, like, the biggest one I need to get. Because once I can break through and get to, like, half a Dark World, then it makes things, like, a lot more items, a lot of things, more things are open up. Opened up, at least. So, can't go see uh, that dude. I don't have the, the, the bottle yet. Because I don't have bombs, I can't do this little race. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna come down and kind of see what it is, just in case I do need to come back. If it's like a, a bomb upgrade, I can skip it. Okay, I don't need to come back for this. Let me see what the uh, award is for winning the race over in here. Please be something good. Oh! Well, I gotta come back here, because that's <laughs> an important item. Okay, where can I go from here? Okay, so I've, I've gotten a chest I can from here. Uh, I can't do much over in there. Man, I need bombs. It, it gives me way more chests when I add some bombs. Uh, I guess for now... Damn, I'm stuck. I think what I might, my goal might be now is I need to probably... At some point find... Uh, probably find bombs, but I think I'm also going to do is just... Head to Hyrule Castle. I'm going to just get magic as I can. I don't know why I bought that, but... Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot I can buy bombs, too, so... That that helps right there. See, so yeah, already forgetting things. It's always the smallest things that get me. Sometimes. Because I'm gonna need a lot of bombs, I'm gonna have to farm some stuff here. Oh, it's one of those shops. 
What did he, what did he say? Oh, nothing. All right. But this now opens up uh, quite a few more areas, so this is good. This is why I said earlier, like, one item is all it takes sometimes. You, you get the perfect item you need and it could just change everything. Red cape, that also changed a lot of things. I can break a lot of things in this game now with the red, with the magic cape. I just need to get magic. Like, once I get half magic, like, I'm set. So I can go back in here, I can see what's in there. I can see what's in here. There's the other area in Kakariko where the bombs, uh, has the bomb spot. And I can go back to Lake Hylia, because then there's that the big room with, like, five items. And then the ice rod chest, and then the desert... So, I'm going to be going a lot of places right now. Then once then once I'm done with all that, then I will head back to Hyrule and do the Zelda like side quest just to see what other chests are in there. Cuz the last time I actually did play the randomizer and I had the the randomized for sword, I actually found like the base sword in Hyrule Castle in a random chest, so I can never just think like, oh, there's probably nothing important there, because you never know. Okay. Alright. I mean, this is the run where I think money is going to be really important. Because I'm going to get stuck in a dungeon and need to buy, like, small keys. Then, like, I better be have enough money to go back and buy buy as many as I can. And I'll say now, I, I'm not sure if this is gonna be like a full full playthrough of the randomizer, but this is like just uh, the, depending on how this this goes. This could go really bad near the end. Like, I could get to a point where I'm really stuck. But I'm gonna see how far I can go from here. Okay, here's the race. 15 seconds, let's go. If I had the sword, this would have been way faster. And 12 seconds. Oh, 10. You can have this trash. This trash over here. Bunch of good trash. So now to get the other uh, medallion and I'll have the whole set. And the other one's the one I actually need too, so... Actually, should I head down here to get to... Maybe I'll, I'll head down here. I, I was like, oh, do I need to head up to get there? I can just head here to get to Lake Hylia. Until I get Dark World, I can't, uh, go see the flute guy. So I can't get whatever, uh, it's in there. I think I'll need, I'll need the shovel. And that would also be useful, too, is having the flute. Like, the flute would definitely make things... things easier. Here's the first of the, uh, just, caves. So this is where the medallion's gonna come in, because I don't want to waste the bombs, because I'm gonna need them. Oh, I don't have enough magic, so... And the bow doesn't work, so... Like, I'm gonna come back to that place. Uh, let me let me first see what's in this cave with the ice rods. And then I'll come back, because I don't want to waste all the bombs. That means I have to run back to, uh... K 
Kakariko to go buy some. Although now, I have enough to use it, so either way, it, it can work out. Alright. Nice. Just give me a sword. That's all I want. <laughs> if I get the sword, then things will be way, way better. I don't have to worry about how am I going to fight this and how am I going to beat this. Please be something good. Okay. that That's good. That opens up uh, another area I can go to now. And it's good I'm getting at least some of this stuff early. Because some of these... Some of these items, like, you really need near the end. Like, the glove is a pretty vital item. Because, at least with this now, I can access certain parts of Dark World. I can access parts of... The world map now that I couldn't, so that means I can head to uh, Death Mountain. I can now head over to the area top right of the map. I can now head over in there. I can now at least, like, if I have 500 rupees, I can see what I can get for the flippers. and So that's good. Opens up. open stuff up. I don't have a viable weapon yet, but hopefully soon. The item that would really help right now, and that would really break this open, is the hammer. Because now that I have the glove, and I get the hammer, that means I can just break right into, like, Kakariko Dark World early. Okay. Let me use the magic. Okay, so I'll let him get by. Here we go. But my mom let me... Oh, I need a sword. Perfect. Okay, I can't use this room yet, then. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't this working? And it's like, oh, I need a sword. So magic wasn't the problem. But that's fine, at least. That means I can come back to room. That's... That's a really good broom, so the second I get a viable item to use against them... Then I'll be set. Because I don't want to waste these bombs right now. And I'm sure this is another uh, this is another single room too. So let's see what's in here. Maybe in their heart container. Oh, this... Oh, it's this room. Well, that, that works out in the end. Because uh, I'm going to need some rupees. I'm probably going to make another trip back to Kakarika. I'm probably going to buy some more bombs. I think my, my next destination after this is going to be Death Mountain. Because there I know I can get the uh, item that switches the magic mirror. I can get... Uh, there's two areas where I can get a heart piece. But I'm going to need the magic mirror first. Okay, no, I'm messing around. Okay. Exactly what I wanted from the beginning. So far, this seed has actually been pretty good. It's been pretty nice to me. Because you're giving me a lot of items that... Well, the... Like... They're kind of a weird combo, but they're all going to be useful in some way. Like, now I have at least some type of weapon. Even though the, the hit detection on... This is kind of hard for the hammer. Okay, it's just bombs. It's fine. It's kind of hard on the hammer, at least, but... I'll take it, because that means... I can act in some places now. Actually, just to make it easy... 
I'm gonna go back to Link's house. And see why I say that? That blue tunic is, is coming in handy already. I think the next game plan now, uh, now that I have at least, have it, have this at least, now, uh, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna warp, I'm gonna warp back to Link's house, I'm gonna go to Hyrule Castle and finish that, because I have the weapons necessary to do it, then I'm going to, then head to Death Mountain. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Like I said, the hit detection is really tough with these guys, so. That sucks. <laughs> but I'm done at least. So this room is pretty good. Let's see what I got. Okay. Okay! <laughs> Uh, 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 it actually wasn't in the end, it wasn't that good. Like, in retrospect, the hearts might be a good plan just in case I'm like gonna die or something, but it's realistically, I'd rather have a main item. Like, right about now, the bow, the bow would be a good choice. Like, the, the bow would be very useful. Um, uh, a sword would really be useful by about right about now. And what else? Oh, the the, the running boots too. This because it speeds up time by a lot, and it I can at least open up some areas. So I'm mostly heading back here. I'm gonna go uh, buy some more bombs. I still am going to have to come back here because I don't have a bottle, so I still can't get the item from that one guy, so. Okay. Let me leave. Let me fill up again. Okay. I'm set now. Uh, anything else I need to do here? Okay, wait, there, there is one more thing I can do. Actually, should I do... Hmm. Nah, I'll, I'll come back to that. I was gonna actually go to Dark World right now. But until I have the magic mirror and a few other items, it's not really worth it at the moment, so I'll just, I'll hold off. So let's head to Hyrule Castle now. Now that I actually can, like, fight things in here. And also, I need to find that shop where I can go buy a shield, too. I know I know it's on, like, the bottom right of the map. It's, like, it's like to the right of Lake Hylia. So, probably after this, I'm going to go buy a small shield, because I don't feel like, like dealing with without having one. See, this is the reason why I couldn't come to uh, Hyrule Castle, is this room right here. Because there's... Even though I have a key, like, I didn't want to waste it. And I had really nothing I could actually like, fight him with at the time. So, so now I actually can, so it makes this a little easier.
and I think one of the things that okay, I don't know why I'm doing it. I can just boomerang and then hammer. I think one of the things that makes this this randomizer so good compared to probably like like I don't know compared to probably like an Ocarina of Time is just how open this game is. Ocarina of Time is still a very linear game in certain aspects. And this really doesn't have that. Like, it's open right from the start, and... Like, I don't know, this... Like, it works really well with the randomizer. Like, I haven't played too, too many other ones. I played uh, the Mario 3 randomizer. Uh, I've done the Ocarina of Time one and this one. But I, I'd still probably say it's my favorite, just... Because I've played this game, I I can't really recall, I've I've beaten it many, many times, and this at least adds, like, new life into the game. Like, it, like, every time I do, like, a new seed, it's always, always fun doing it, because I never know what to expect. It, it almost makes it a, a whole new game in the end. Okay, is there any other, uh... Okay, there are a few more keys in here, but I'm not gonna go for them. I feel they'll be like a a waste, kinda. Okay, so red boomerang is not a bad bad choice for this. Um, next. Okay, I know where I'm going next. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head to the area for the first dungeon. I'm gonna try and get the small shield. Uh, I'm gonna go to Sahasrila's house because I can break uh, the back entrance and get three chests there. Uh, and I could possibly head to the first dungeon, maybe. I I'm gonna try and see how far I can maybe get in it, but I, I don't really know. Wait, gotta head back. But this boomerang will help out. I do like having this one. Means less less having to deal with enemies, which right now until I get a sword is kind of for the best. Oh, warden teller. Oh, I forgot. It's kind of all the same seed. Ah, oh, so I can't get the shield yet. I have to just hope to find it, which... Ah... Okay, what... Uh, I know another item I, I want to try and hopefully get for the lot for Light World is uh, the Magic Mushroom. So I can turn it in at the potion shop and get whatever item that's going to be. And now that I have the hammer, that means I can get the half magic uh, part in Kakariko, so... Let's see. Or in the green pendant and... Oh, of course it's in Misery Mire. And I'll give you something. I think that sucks. I need a lot of items for that dungeon, too. Okay? Okay, one good item out of it. I have all my medallions, so that's that. That's pretty good in the end. I don't have to deal with that. And that means I can at least open up the, the rest of the dungeons of the game. But I'm gonna need a sword if I'm gonna do <laughs> any of that. Okay, I have three keys right now. Uh... I, I, I'm kind of thinking of save stating because I don't know. I don't know if this will be a mistake in the end. So hold on. What? Okay. I just did a quick save state. I think it showed up on the screen. But yeah, I, uh, I don't want to make any mistakes here. But there are too many chests in here, and this is one of the easier dungeons to get through. 
so I, I will gladly take the hit. So this chest usually has 100 rupees, so let's see what it's got this time. Oh, so it's still the same. <coughs> the good thing is, once I, um... Is now that I have 600 rupees, I can actually go get whatever the, uh... The Zora have up near the waterfall, so I can see at least what what I get out of that. I still may wait and see how many other rupees I should get for that, but I don't know cause if I should hold off because I may need the rupees for like a small key or something later on down the line. Hmm. Yeah, by the end of this, by the end of this run, I'm gonna hate small rupees. That's the main consent, like thing that happens every time I play the randomizer. Is I, I grow to like have a disdain for rupees, and just bombs and arrows. He's like, I don't care for this. Like, give me something I actually need. Like, throw out this trash. Not was fast. Wasn't like the speed run strat fast, but it was okay. That works. That saves me some time. So uh, let's see what's in here. And another thing, I I needed to forget to mention, but I'll show you in a second. Ah, uh, that stinks. But there's another item that I seriously need. And that is the lantern. So no, the game isn't broken. If you don't have a lantern, you really cannot see. So until I get one, I'm like completely blind. So the, I forgot, that's another one I need is the lantern. It is a vital item. You're going to see the reason why, like right now. Okay, where's this room? Okay, I'm in the room now. Okay, it's top right. Okay, I got the key. Let's leave. Thankfully I have the bow, because... Okay, there's another one. The bow's actually making this a lot easier, because I didn't have the bow last time I did this. I actually did to do this all in the dark. And it kind of sucked. <laughs> so thankfully having the hammer, like, it saves the day. And having the magic cape also saves the day, because you can just break dungeons like that. See, who, who needs to do dungeons the right way? Just do it the John way, by cheating. And using items you're not supposed to have until, like, end of the game <laughs> but actually for right now that's all I can do in this dungeon because that's pretty much the last chest there's like one other key in here and then the boss and I don't have a bow to fight him so I'm gonna end it there what I am gonna do however is huh so from here I can either head to the waterfall, spend, spend 500 rupees and see what I get from there. Or I can start hitting the Death Mountain and go go from up there and see what I can get. Okay, uh... Think, think. You know what, yeah, uh... Let's head to the waterfall. I'm gonna spend the... I'm gonna spend the 600 rupees. Now, I'd like to hope this is worth it in the end. If, if it is not worth it, then I'll probably cut to me at the waterfall getting the item and being real sad. 
if I actually do get something good, and I'm gonna leave all this footage in. So if you're seeing me talk right now, then good news. If you see it cut, it's bombs. Really do hope it is good though, because these 600, 600 really could uh, be useful later down the line. I just wish I could swim. Then I could get into this cave right here and just. Oh. Alright, well, now I'm at the waterfall. Let's see what this item is. So. Okay, it's nothing really. Just as a rupee spawn. The last the last playthrough I did of the randomizer I actually got like the red cane. And I was real sad. I was like, I actually really need that and I don't have the flippers. And it took a long time till I actually found them too, so it, it sucked. Oh, I was just thinking of this right now. Like, the book would be really useful right about now. And that book is really going to be useful right about now. So now, that opens up a whole other subsection. And a whole other dungeon, so... Let's let's head there. Because there's, there's a bunch of chests there, and... I believe, for the most part, I can finish half the dungeon, but I'm going to need... The lantern, like that's, that's really what's gonna stop me yet again is the lantern. It's, it's probably the most important item in this game, because you're gonna be using it a few times in certain areas. You you absolutely need it. Like I'm gonna try and uh I'm gonna try and do the cool way I did last time is I actually got through Death Mountain that cave at the top, without the lantern just based on muscle memory. And I'm gonna try doing it again. I'm not gonna really use the hammer. I'm just gonna. Just go based on on what I remember the path is. So hopefully here I can find the lantern, the bow, and really the goal right now is the 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 main goal I really just need is to find a sword. That's that's really what I'm hoping to find at some point. Though those are like my two like wish items. That lantern sword possibly uh the magic mirror. Cause then it makes certain things with Dark World viable. Ah uh, What a waste. That was already in here. Why'd I walk in here? This is like the first time in years I've ever gone in this room. Well, I think there was candy in here. Okay, so the only reason I came here, that, that chest sucked because it was the dungeon map and I don't care for that. But is the big, is what's going to be in the big chest? Oh. Oh. This is going to get interesting because that this isn't in the big key, this could be anything. And of course it's the compass. The most useful item in this game, the, the compass. What 
Yay! Great, great. That's that's what I love to see. Is just, you know, just money. I just wasted a lot of time coming here, and in the end, it didn't really matter. I believe down here, if I remember correctly, I think it was a bomb upgrade. No, I think it's just straight up bombs. I'm not even going to head down there. It's like a waste. And I don't think there's even much I can do in here at this time. Like, I, I can't get to the boss room because I need a lantern. And here we go, now we cannot finish the dungeon. All because of not having a lantern. And I have no weapon to actually even stop this guy at the moment too, so... That's about as much as we can do right now. I, I've said it long enough now, I've, I've kind of delayed it, but it's, it's time to finally head to Death Mountain. Which hopefully will give me something that can like move on which which actually thinking of it the reason why the lantern would be really good right about now and at least some type of weapon to like deflect some stuff is because now that i have the magic cape i could theoretically head to dark world like right this second because i can just use the magic cape on that barrier where you're supposed to have the master sword and break through All right, so let's see if I can pull this this this, this off again. I okay. Okay, where am I coming from? Okay, here I think I go up. Okay, up, 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 right. Okay, going... Okay, I go here, I think I go up a bit, maybe right. Okay, I'm lost. I'm completely lost right now. I do not know where I am. I may need to actually restart it because I don't... Okay, this is the entrance. It's the start. Exit. Okay, I just left. This is the, the entrance room here. Okay.
Okay, that was kind of close. Okay, I think I go up. God, what, what am I, where am I at? <laughs> How did I get it that one time? I got it real quick check. I got it in like two minutes. Wait. Did I do it? I did it. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I did it. I was so close to dying too. Man, and look at that, all of that for, for five bucks. <laughs> Whew, but you know the good thing is, I don't ever have to do that again. I can now warp here. God, that was, that was rough. The thing that made that, let me know where I was at was once the bat hit me, that's when I knew, okay, I know I'm all the way on the right, I just have to head down left and down and that's it oh god <laughs> yes that was rough okay let's, let's go in here if i had the the hook shot i could really get further in here oh Theoretically, I could probably get through Hyrule Castle like that blind, but that's that's way harder because that one's like a little maze without the lantern. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that one now. I might have to just suck it up and wait to get it. But the question is, how do I progress now? Cause I don't have the magic mirror. So I can get a Dark World. Like I'm still Link, but. No item to get back. I have to save and quit to leave. Now, there is something I could do right here, but... I don't have the stuff to really do it. I, I could use the cape. But it wastes so much magic, I don't have it halved. Hmm... Yep, I'm not going to make it at, at all. Alright, let me just save and quit because I'm stuck in Dark World now. So, where to go? I don't know where to go from here now. Now, this is the point I was talking about where you just kind of get stuck for a while because you're missing out on, like, one item. And, and that's that's what's happening at the moment. Like, I, I need the magic mirror or, or something, so... An area I actually did forget to go to is right in here, and I, I should have thought of it earlier. I know I probably can't face through the rocks. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that. But, this area right here that leads to Hyrule Castle. There, there's like a whole room of like three chests that I completely forgot. Now, I won't be mad if I get in here, and it's like some, some really good chests, like, like, oh yeah, here's a sword, here's the magic mirror. Okay, it was pointless. But it's good to always check. So, hmm. I have to, to really think right now, once I get outside. Like, where, where to go? Let's 
So I, I could go to Dark World early. I could use... I could use the mat... Use the hammer and break open and get there early. Hmm. I can't finish that dungeon yet. I need fire. Gone over here and gotten that. Gone there. I need a magic mirror. Gone up there. So I think that's what I will do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and get into Dark World. I'm gonna try and go Dark World, see what I can do from Kakariko in there. See if I can get another chest, maybe. And just try. Like, I feel it's gonna hit me at some point. Like, uh, like there's a chest I'm just missing outright. <sighs> like, th there are some chests in Hyrule Castle during the dungeon escape. But I feel that those are probably just gonna be the keys necessary to get through, so I don't know if it's even worth it to go back there. I need a bottle for the bug net cheek. For the bug net, so then out I can at least get the item from like the the bug catching kid. And with that I'm in Dark World. Oh, I can't break it. Ooh. Come, fairy. So there is this this game over here, and there is the shovel game too. Oh snap! That is a really good item right there. Get away. Actually, can I get in here early? I can, but I'm probably... I can get in there thinking about it, but I don't think I want to go in there right now. Like, I don't have anything to even, like, do anything. So, I'm going to hold off on that dungeon. Yeah, that, that smooth McGroove Dark World cover is, is still pr still pretty great. That still gets a regular listen. Speaking of smooth McGroove, where is he at? Is it, he is he has not posted some stuff in a long time. I know he, I still have to see that video he made. He did like a video update, like what he's been doing. Alright, please be something good. It's probably gonna be the heart piece. Now it's, it's worse than the heart piece. Five rupees, that's a lot. You're a billionaire. Oh, I j this. I just thought of it right now. I. It's like, I could have got another item right now had I had the magic mirror, because. There's gonna be the rabbit dude over here. I have the item necessary to, to save him, but I don't have the item to bring him back. 
it, it's always the one item I need. Man, there, God, there's so many. There's so many places I could go right now, but I need the magic mirror. Give me the item right now. I don't want to do this game for hours. This is the worst heart piece in the game. Like, Link to the Past is a perfect game. And then this many games here. Like, it's just like Dompe in Ocarina of Time. Like, it just it takes years to do. Okay, so that was it was, just, it was the heart piece still again. So I think coming from this direction, the chests I know I can possibly get. Uh. I think I, I can get the shovel item right now, I think. Which is something that I can save and quit and then come back to the spot later and get it. So let's see what it is. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. That is what I needed from the start. That... That makes things way better now. It's not really got excited there, but it's like... This opens up so much more. I can now finally head to like a thousand different areas. I can now head back to Tower of Hera. I can head and get some items in Dark World now. This, this is why I like randomizers. Like you get, like I said, stuck for a long time. One item is all it takes and you're back into it again. Cause I was kind of getting down. I'm like, oh, this is kind of starting to turn to stink again because I'm just stuck and then... The magic mirror is what saved it. So there's quite a few areas I can hit now. I'll, I'll definitely head back to, to uh, Kakariko. Well. But for now that I'm actually in this area, there's some spots I can hit. I don't need you. Uh... Ooh! I Wait, do I need the sword to access those? Wait, I think I need a master sword in mind. I was gonna... There's a certain item I was gonna try and get, but I think I need the master sword to actually access it, so... I won't get it right now. Wish I could swim, because then there's, there's a item I could get over in there. Here we go. Finally. I, I, was, I was waiting to find... To find that shield shop. That'll make things a lot easier, at least on my end. Because now I at least... My damage will be... Not halved, but at least I can dodge projectiles now. So it'll make some parts easy. And now that I have this shield, means that... I can get the next upgrade. So so far so good. Like I'm I'm really happy with that magic mirror choice. Okay, still the same. Because this is the spot where you can get one of the uh, medallions, I want to see what's here and what this spot replaced. Alright, key again. Here, where can I go? Uh, I can see at least now uh, this stuff. 
Oof, I'm about to head that dungeon to get that. Okay, the second dungeon's where I get the other pendant. Alright. I know it. Now that I'm here, I think my next goal... I'm gonna head... I'm gonna head to the tower here because there's an there's a item I can get from there. I'm gonna head back to Light World. I'm probably gonna save and quit and head... Actually, I can head back to Kakariko too. And there's a ch... Boy... There's too much to do now. Now there's like it's like a thousand things I can do. Like, give me the lantern is what I need now. That then I can actually do some more stuff. But also now that I have uh, the magic mirror, that means I can actually access the rest of Death Mountain. Especially that I have the hammer, so now I can access some other areas of it and pretty much access like the later half of it too, so that that's really gonna help. And it's funny because I think like I said I was thinking it earlier, because when I was in when I was about to head to Death Mountain, uh no to uh Kakariko Dark World, I had a thought in my mind, like, oh, I bet that the mini game, the chess mini game, won't have anything useful in it. And look look what it had. The Golden Gauntlet single handedly saved this run, because I was going to be stuck. Because <laughs> that led to me accessing the other part of Dark World and being able to get to the Magic Mirror. Okay, so now. I'm gonna save him quick, go back to Sanctuary, go to Dark World, and I got some I got some chests I can get. Oh, I've been playing for an hour, so that's not it's not bad. We got some we got some more time to play. I I can't stop now. I've gone uh I'm too invested now. and just God it makes things so much easier. Saves time, we can just break that. So before I actually head and go rescue the frog, let me head over here. Like I said, uh the place where you usually get the magic capes over here near Sanctuary. Oh, wait, oh god there's there's like two other things I can get now, because now I have the magic cape and Man, it never ends. I can break this now. This isn't the one exactly for Magic Cape, this is just another area. This section right here is going to be a tight fit. Oh, don't tell me I need the running boots for that. I, I think I do. I think I need the running boots to actually beat this, to actually open this up. Yep. Okay, so I'm about to come back for this one. Wow, 
Wow. Boo. Should be set now. To be right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm about to come back for that one. But that's fine. Okay, what else? Got the area near Death Mountain. I get the running boost too. There's, I can get that chest in there, and I can also get the chest that's to the right of me right now. Oh God! What's here? Key? All right. Please stop. Leave me alone, birds. Wow. First death of the run, and it was from, like, the easiest enemy, too. Game over. Save and continue. God, I gotta do that over again. Well, I, you know, I can come back to that because it's just a key. So it's not, like, a big, like, deal. I can come back to it. So that's not too bad. But I still need to do the frog thing too, so I need to. At some point, I will need to head head back to Kakariko. I need to at least see what item I could get if I trade with the uh, the smithy, and I can also go and take that chest over to the dude in Lake Hylia. So there is still some stuff I can do out in here. Here's a real chest, uh, test. I, I, I didn't head to the other one earlier because I didn't know if I needed the Master Sword or a sword to begin with, but let's check and see if it actually does check for that still. Yep, okay, so you do need the Master Sword to actually get that. So I'll have to remember to, once I get the sword at least, and the Master Sword upgrade, to come back and get it. So let's check in here. The dungeon where having the the red boomerang is very useful. It'll make a lot of parts this easy, so. This room usually is not that good. You just stand out here, wait for this guy to not get in your face. Oh, never mind. I guess you actually have to get in here then. I believe dungeon dungeon item stuff is the same. So, oh, okay, that's interesting. But that still means there's one more chest down here. So this could either be the compass, it could be the map, or something entirely different. My favorite room. The fun room when you have a sword, any with anything else, scary. Oh, not these guys again. I'm not fighting them. I'm just going to skip because there's no reward for killing them, and I'm not dealing with that again. Wait. Oh, I, I forgot. I can't do anything in this room. I don't have the, the lantern. Or the fire rod. Like, that. I could at least, if I had the fire rod, that at least could still work. Alright, well, there's still, uh, I think... Two more items I can get in this dungeon. And depending, if the hammer actually does work on the boss, I haven't tested it yet, but if it does, that means this could actually be the first dungeon I can actually complete. 
Oops, wrong one. All right, let me get it over there. I'm sure if you played this game by now. You know, keep the orange block because if you keep it, you can get to, you can get access to that big uh, array of hearts near the end of this dungeon. I'm gonna save state real quick because I I want to be I want to do some cool stuff. I, I want to be a speed runner, so I'm gonna do the bomb. Oh no, never mind. Will they really make it uh, tough for you? So I have to stay on the furthermost edge. I think uh, put a bomb down. Actually, I think I need a sword for that, never mind. So, for, forget I just did that, because I need a sword. But yeah, you, you could actually skip having to get the... To go into the room and fall down the spot to get the key. You could actually just bomb hover over. Which looks really cool to do, but I forgot. I, need, I think I need a sword. I think I need to, like, charge the attack and then... Drop the bomb, charge it, and I think... I let it go and it like pushes me back enough. So no cool strategies for me. Just gonna be playing, playing the old game. I don't know why I went for that again, but I just wanted to go for it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Does the hammer work, or is only sword? Now this fight's gonna really be tough with a sword. It's it can still be tough, but oh, it does work. That's gotta make, make sure my aim is good with the hammer now. Can I get the good pattern? Ah, I got the good pattern. Cause I'm about to. Ooh, ooh. That could have ended badly. God, these things take like 20 years to fight. But I want some hearts back. Okay, try number two. Like I said, this fight... This fight's kind of the bane of some... Uh, people who play it. I... I, I love and hate this fight at the same time. I think it's it's fun fighting him, but it's also nerve wracking just because. Oh, dang! The hammer just takes him out fast. All right. Half magic. Okay. That's one thing I did forget. Actually, fighting bosses because everything's randomized. The item you get for winning is also so. Who, you don't really know what to expect from it. So now that I have half magic, that's, that could also lead me to going and getting that the chest in that cave. I'm going to hold off on it maybe for a bit, but after I'm done with the stuff in Death Mountain, maybe I'll head there. I need to watch out because these guys can take me out very fast. Okay. I'm going to save state because I kind of forgot which cave I'm supposed to fall into. And just in case I uh, screw up. Okay. Do, 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 do.
Okay, I believe I have to head to the furthermost one on the right, I feel. Yeah, I think it's the one on the right, and I'll, like, go down steps, and then... Okay, good thing I have the, the damage halved, because those guys do a lot of damage without it. Chest, chest. Yeah, I think it's like the same thing you get in the regular game, so nothing really changed. But here's another room full of chests, so this is gonna be a big one. Put your bets in right now. What could it be? Is it gonna be a good seed, or is the game gonna play really dirty and give me the same thing they've been giving me the past like? 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do it real slow. Here we go. Key. Key. Okay. Two more, please. Please be something. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of importance. This is the first time of me doing that key one. I'm sure this makes it way, way harder. Because without the keys, at least, you only have to worry about, uh,. You can just deal with keys and dungeons. I'm sure this takes a lot more out. And oof, another key for a hundred. Uh, just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> really, where can I go now? Because I need the bow to finish the first dungeon. I need the lantern to finish the second. What else can I get from here? Actually, if I, if I head back up here, I believe I can... I can get into... Wait, no, I need items for that. Never mind. I'll just say, oh, I can head to the uh, Dark World like, part of this area, but then I realize, like, wait, I need, like, the hookshot to get in there. I need a few other items. So it's not readily available yet. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try and maybe... I'm gonna try maybe going for that one chest. Death Mountain. I got a few more stuff in me. Maybe uh, next 15 minutes, and maybe I'll call it quits on this one for now. It's a pretty tough seat so far. It's giving me, it's giving me at least the stuff gradually, but it's starting to get tough. <laughs> And the crazy thing is that it's it's one item that's also stopping me again. Wow, wow. So let's let's give this a try. Let's see how it works with uh, the half magic. Maybe not too too great. Had I had like a bottle and like fairies, it would make this a lot easier. Or like with blue potion. So let's see. As long as I can make it there, that means I can just save and quit and be good. Made it. Nothing. But it's good to know that it was nothing. Then, disregard for half the game and it'd be an important item. Okay, 
so where did I say I was going to head to now? Kakariko, yeah, I was going to I was going to try and do the the rabbit side quest. <clears throat> the rabbit quest. Also, because Dark World is open, I could I could actually kind of go to uh, I could actually go to the first dungeon of Dark World, like one of the first palaces. But I'm unsure if I have the stuff necessary. But I feel there's still a few spots in there where I need the lantern, specifically to get the big key item. I'm gonna need the sword. I'm gonna need a bow. So I'm running out of stuff to uh to do. The sword was with you all along. There's Mr. Ribs. If I had a fraud, I think that's probably what I would call it. Mis Mr. Ribs. What's your frog's name? Oh, Mr. Ribs. You don't call your frog Mr. Ribs? And see, now that I have that, I can come back here. Now I wonder how this will work. So you leave, you come back. Yes! Nice, okay. This is... Okay, so I can't do that actually then. But that's good, that means... I can finally fight. I don't have to deal with having to use the hammer anymore. That that's a load off my chest. I don't have to like deal with that anymore. And now I need to take this chest back to the guy in Lake Hylia. What makes this part good in the regular game is that by this point you already have the ocarina. So you can just fly back. Because I don't have it, that means I have to slowly walk all the way back. So for the sake of uh, you, I'm going to speed this up so I will see you at the man. Because you don't want to see me walk all the way over there. And we're back. So here's the man. Let's see what we get. Heart container. Alright. So... Now that I have a sword... What can I do? Uh, now I'm kind of at a loss to, to do right now. I don't know if I should head to Dark World and try that first palace to see if I can find something. I don't know whether... Huh. It, it's tough. But, but you know what? This is a good closing point. So I'm going to stop it here. You know, for, for what I did, this was pretty fine. I got a lot of good items. I made some progress. Uh, at some point, maybe later on down the line, maybe I will continue this series. Maybe I'll finish this seed. Because I'm at the halfway point. I just need to get a few more items and this thing will be finished. So who, who really knows in the end? So that's going to be it for me here thank you for watching uh until next time i'm john and this is a crazy seed <laughs>